Good afternoon. I hope you and your family have had a terrific spring season. I wanted to provide you with the top three things we want you to know today, and we look forward to listening to your input, feedback, and suggestions. By now, you've received the communication from our Board of Directors about the Cochise Golf Course vote. We'll look forward to spending time in this meeting discussing the next steps and answering any questions that you have. I'd also like to announce that we've hired a new director of membership sales. We're gonna miss Cherie Crooks dearly, but we're so excited that she and her husband are moving to Florida and starting a new life together. We've hired Melanie Halpert. Melanie has worked for 22 years with Silverleaf and DC Ranch, and she'll join our team on June 12th. We'll look forward to getting to know Melanie, working with our club, and I look forward to bringing her to many events with our members going forward. I'd also like to announce that Arnaldo Cacuza will be leaving our club and taking on the COO job at San Luis Obispo Country Club in California. We're so excited for Arnaldo and his family, and we're grateful for Arnaldo's efforts and those of Cherie. We're conducting a national search for Arnaldo's replacement, and we would anticipate having a new teammate leading our Sonoran operation by about July 15th. So thank you. We look forward to you and your family and the summer activities that we have on the mountain. Have a terrific day. Thank you, Damon, and thank you, members, for being here today for the Mountain Update and Mixer, or perhaps you're watching this video as a follow-up. That's kind of what this Mountain Mixer and Update is all about. It serves a lot of different purposes. So last month in April was the first time that we did this event. Uh, it was the evolution of the easy listening. And as you may or may not know, members, we had engaged with our members once a month to sit and, and have Q&A sessions, give an operational update. Well, now having this video component gives us the opportunity to reach a broad, broader audience. Uh, we're also introducing in June a, a singular topic that we're going to be focusing on. So look forward to a brief survey. We'll send out what are some of those topics that you would like us to focus on? We'll again be with members of our board of directors to do that. So the coffee talks that we were having, the easy, easy listenings that we were having, we've kind of merged them all together. And now we have this session, the Mountain Update and Mixer with you. And we also have some wine available for those who are uh, joining us live. So let's get to the rest of our senior teammates for their operational updates. Hello members, Todd Bone here. I'm standing on the new short game area or next to the new short game area at Renegade. As you can see behind me, we've had some good progress as of late with a lot of seed germinating. We got all the construction done and we were able to get the seed down in a timely manner and take advantage of this beautiful weather and we've had a very good uh, rate of germination. We still got some spots as you can tell behind me that are a little thinner that we will continue to work on but they will catch up with the rest of the product very shortly. And we are on track for this area to continue to open in the late fourth quarter around the same time as the clubhouse does. Also wanted to talk about tis the season for greens airification right now. Um, during the week of May the 8th, we were able to airify Cochise and 7. Those two golf courses will open back up for play on May the 15th. Chiricahua will close down May the 15th for greens airification, will open May the 22nd. Apache will shut down May the 22nd for Greens Airification, open May the 29th. Outlaw will shut down May 29th for its summer transition with its tees converting, and we will do the, back to Bermuda grass, we will do the Greens Airification at the same time. Outlaw will open back up June the 5th. Geronimo will then shut down for summer transition to spray out the golf course and to do Greens Airification on June the 5th, and will reopen for play on July the 17th. And then Renegade shuts down June the 5th for summer closure this year. I know some people have asked me why we're shutting Renegade down, but being a young golf course, being brand new, we want to get the amount of traffic off of it as soon as we can and let that turf plant continue to mature. So it will, it will shut down June the 5th. We will do the greens verification during that window. And then that golf course won't reopen until September 24th. So a lot of uh, exciting things going on in agronomy, a lot of moving parts right now as we start into this transition period, but great to be with you and have a great rest of your day. Hello members, I hope you and your family had a terrific winter season. 
As we enter into our summer season, please allow me to share some updates for this month's Mountain Update Mixer. So first thing, our 2023 summer tournament schedule. Uh, for those that haven't seen it, uh, it's on the club website. We also have everything posted on 4Ts in the event sign up. Uh, but let me give you a quick preview. So in June, we have our mixed six tournament. We also have our number seven shootout. We have our Southwest uh, Amateur that's happening in mid-June, so I'd like you to take a look at that. And if there's any uh, volunteer opportunities where you'd like to participate, we'd love to have you. And then on June 24th, we have Scramble with a Twist. Moving into July is our Red, White, and Blue Tournament on the 4th. July 22nd is the Monsoon Member Member. In August, we have the Cross Country Pro-Am on August 12th. August 26th is our Summer Member Guest. And then rounding things out in September, on September 4th is the Gila Monster Pro-Am. On September 11th, we have a Battle of the Badges, which is our um, first responders that uh, we host each year up at Outlaw. Terrific event. September 16th is our second team All-America. And then lastly, on September 24th, we will be hosting the regional finals for the drive, chip, and putt again at Outlaw. So we're looking forward to that. In a couple weeks, we will have our uh, golf and agronomy committee where we will approve our summer uh, course schedule. Uh, it's pretty much um, almost uh, completed. We want to get one pass through the committee before we present that to the members, so we'll have that out to you real soon. Uh, we also have our summer reciprocal program that will begin in June. So on June 1st through September 17th, we'll have the summer reciprocal again with uh, Mirabelle, DC Ranch, and Desert Highlands. Matt Gordon will be spearheading that on uh, our team. Uh, requests uh, for members can be made within 48 hours of the desired day to play, both for Desert Mountain and our participating clubs. Uh, lastly, I know some of you have had uh, some issues with our GPS, pace, yardages, drifting of carts, and so forth. We are working with the, the PACE team. I know there's been worldwide GPS issues over the past six months uh, that's been affecting uh, different golf clubs and different systems. Uh, we're not uh, spared from that as well, so uh, we are working feverishly with the team. Uh, we have them coming out to do a complete remapping of all of our golf courses this summer. We hope that that'll correct the situation and we'll have a, a smooth transition uh, into next winter season. I uh, look forward to seeing you all soon and hope you have a great day. Hello members, this is the facilities update for this month. We're standing in front of the Renegade Clubhouse that is moving extremely fast. In the last 30 days we have completed the flat roof construction, drying it in. Uh, we're making great progress on our slope roofs with waterproofing and our standing seam roof, metal clad roof and fascias. We have completed all the underground utilities our service entrance section where all the power comes in the building is complete. So we are now waiting on APS to provide power. Our wash construction is moving fast. We're almost done with that. The, in the basement, we have finished the drywall and we expect to paint uh, by the end of the month. And on the upper level in the kitchen, we're gonna start drywalling next week and finishing all of our electrical, plumbing, and mechanical. With our membership sales office at the entrance of the club, we are we just poured the concrete slab last week, and as you uh, enter the, our beautiful club here in the next couple weeks, you'll see the exterior walls, masonry walls, followed by the roof structure going in in the next couple weeks. Hello, members. Well, it's hard to believe we are already halfway through the second quarter. Initiation fees and membership sales remain very strong. In fact, we now expect to finish the first half of the year with total initiation fee revenues of more than $10 million, as compared to our annual budget of $15.6 million, two-thirds of the way there. As such, we are well ahead of budget so far. And as we've shared, initiation fees are critical to the club's capital improvements over time. The real estate market remains very strong. In May alone, we're bringing in 20 new memberships with the sale of a home. A great month. 
And these real estate transactions do not impact the ending golf count. We ended April with 2,043 golf members. And also through the month of April, our total EBITDA or operating income of 10.2 million was favorable to budget by 550,000. We look forward to finishing the first half of the year very strong and we will continue to monitor the economic indicators going forward very closely. Thank you, have a great day. Hello from Talent and Culture. So although our winter season is just now coming to an end, we're already gearing up for our 2023-24 winter season. We're in the middle of recruiting for approximately 100 seasonal visa workers to start with us this fall. So we've been lucky enough to partner with various clubs throughout the country who are planning to hire many of our seasonal workers for the summer so that we can then hire them back in October. So that means you'll be seeing a lot of the same smiling faces in October. Recognition is also a huge part of what we do in talent and culture, and we're currently getting ready to celebrate our long-term teammates at our Mountain Milestone Celebration, which we do every year around this time. These teammates will be recognized at a special luncheon later this month, including Sharon from CG, who is celebrating 35 years of service with Desert Mountain. If you see Sharon, make sure you congratulate her on this incredible milestone. And lastly, we have a lot going on in the world of training and development. We're preparing for the arrival of our summer interns, uh, which will kick off on June 7th. This incredible group of students includes five food and beverage interns, one agronomy intern, uh, one accounting intern, and one golf intern. In addition to developing future leaders, we've also spent a lot of time investing in our existing leaders. In April and May, we focused on how to lead, coach, and truly inspire our teammates, and we're excited to see the results of these meaningful sessions through our Great Place to Work employee survey, which kicks off later this month. And that's it from Talent and Culture. Hello, members. I hope everyone's having a great month of May. I'm going to give you a little overview of club operations taking place this month and into the summer season. Right now, I'm here at the Seven Clubhouse where we have our annual lunch closure throughout the week. Great time for the team to kind of pull everything out, do a deep clean, bring in some of our vendors, flush our lines, do some repairs in the kitchen, and get reset for a great summer season. So you'll see that throughout this month and the month of June at a couple of our clubhouses just to do those deep dives into some cleanup projects. So thank you for staying uh, abreast to your calendar as much as you can. And uh, the concierge team is happy to help you with those booking reservations or letting you know what's available. Uh, excited about our summer event launch. Have some great events this year. A uh, couple bringing back our Asian street food festival, which was great. Added an Italian street food festival with our uh, Constantinos team, very excited about that. And then some great wine social events for you to attend with us as well. Even maybe a couple karaoke nights here and there. So uh, going to have fun this summer and look forward to having you at those events. Uh, last but not least would be our summer menus. We're launching those the first two weeks of June. Chef Bertrand and his team are uh, busy right now, kind of hitting the books and making a great summer season based off of what that is available to them. As a reminder, we do change the menu three times a year with the seasons, and so we're excited about this launch in early June. Look forward to seeing everyone around the mountain this summer, and thank you for your support.